we've heard from several experts about management of cows at drying off using teat seal. We'll now talk with Dr Phil Rennie, veterinary advisor at Pfizer Animal Health, to discuss choosing the right dry cow antibiotic for your herd. Phil, there are a range of dry cow therapies out there on the market. Are there differences between them? Yes, there are. The actives in each dry cow formulation are different in terms of their ability to kill bacteria. And that's something we regard in terms of the spectrum or the ability to kill certain bacteria. What role does formulation play? Formulation is also important and that represents the non-active part. And the non-active part uh, contains a, a carrier or a base which helps the antibiotic to get to where it needs to be within the udder to affect as good a cure rate as possible. So it's the confidence of knowing that we have an appropriate active in a formulation that's going to provide the best possible results in the field. Yeah, and making sure you work alongside your vet to make that decision. Absolutely, yes. What about groups of cows with very high somatic cell counts? What sort of therapy should we be looking at for them? Cows with high somatic cell counts are regarded as those in excess of 150,000 somatic cells per mil for the mature cows, or greater than 120,000 cells per mil for first lactation heifers. These animals are then regarded as having an existing infection and cure rate becomes the most important factor when choosing dry cow therapy. So with cure rate in mind, Auburn and Enduro has shown superior cure rates uh, compared to other products on the market in the field. The cure rates are basically uh, driven through having an appropriate active in the form of cloxacillin, an antibiotic which is uh, ideal for Staphylococcus aureus and Staph aureus for short is a bacteria which is uh, the, renowned as being the most common contagious uh, mastitis cause in New Zealand. Auburn Enduro also contains a formulation where the cloxacillin is presented in a uniform and small particle size and this assists the penetration of the active into the udder to where the bacteria uh, reside. And finally, it's carried in a, in a base where the uh, contact time is sufficient to achieve a kill. And this is what we regard as being a time-dependent antibiotic activity, where the cloxicillin will need a certain period of time to get the best possible result. And Auburn and Enduro is able to achieve this through its unique formulation. Is there anything else that farmers should be considering when they're looking at a dry cow therapy with their vet? Yes, there are a number of other things that should be considered, including the withholding period for the particular dry cow therapy, because if the withholding period is in excess of the likely dry period length, then there could be some inhibitory substance issues that are better avoided. At the time of dry off, the cows should be properly identified as in terms of what they are treated with, and also the actual administration is done to industry best practice. And at calving, management of these cows is also important because whilst they're in the colostrum mob, they must receive eight full milkings before they are allowed to go into the milk supply. Dry cow antibiotic products differ on the basis of active ingredient as well as formulation. Auburn and Enduro has been shown to have superior cure rates against Staph aureus infections. Withholding periods, administration techniques and colostrum cow management should also be considered when selecting a dry cow therapy program.